today is day number seven and uh, we are going to be looking at setting up item price lists and also uh, no the, let this be setting up price list and item prices in ERP next so I'll go to my instance here and the first thing that you are supposed to do is to set up the price lists basically uh, price lists are those guides that show you the kind of uh, prices that you can uh, associate with different transactions for each and every item within the system so i just opened one of the two that exist by default these two come with the erp next we have standard buying and we have standard selling so if you don't set any specifics for your business you're going to have these two standard buying are the is, is the price list that you use to buy your stuff and standard selling is obvious it is the price list you use to sell your product so when you stay here you see we have a checkbox that says enabled so if you uncheck that that price list is not going to be usable and then we have the currency of the price list i'm going to be showing you what that is then down here we have three check boxes we have buying selling or price not um dependent now um what is supposed to happen here when you check on selling for example this becomes the price list for selling like it is now because this is standard selling if we go to buying you notice that the buying one is checked now we have this price not dependent on uom which ideally what it is supposed to do is uh, it is supposed to allow the businesses to have a price list that is not dependent on the unit of measure so what happens when you check this is that the system gets the prices based on the quantities that you are selling other than the unit of measure that you are using so it, it does not depend on whether you are selling in kilos or in cartons or in sacks or in uh, numbers it doesn't depend when this is checked all right so when that is said here the other thing that we have is applicable for countries that is if you want to split this uh, price list to be specific to wherever countries and it's only the countries that are going to be listed here that the price list is going to be usable if you try to select for example a, a, a supplier from a different country that is going to throw you an error it's not going to allow that so if you want to limit your price list regionally you can do that setting right here so i would like to go back here and i would like to create my own price list for this demo and it is going to be a dollar price list such that when we buy in kenya shillings we are going to use standard buying and when we buy in in usd we is going to use a different a different uh, uh price list and remember that when you are doing that you are changing the currency so you need to say the currency so if you get an error that the conversion rate cannot be found just make sure you set up the currency so so i'm going to call this standard buying usd and then i'm going to change this to usd and i'm going to say it's buying and that's it that's all i need to do here i don't need to specify countries it can be applicable in other countries i only want that when i'm buying in usd this is a price list that kicks in so once i have set up the price list the next thing is to associate this price list to, to some item so i need to go to i need to go to item price and here these two were created automatically when we were doing transactions i think um, standard selling was set up when we created the item because remember in the previous day when we were creating the item we set up this somewhere so this must have fetched from there now i would like us to add another one this is the item code it's the same one the same one that we have here one plus 20 so we pick it up here and we say numbers no problem and then here we need to specify the price list we want to set this one and once we say that the next thing that we need to specify here is the rate what is the rate that uh, we would like this to apply we would like to apply here you can see for example 790 usd and then down here we also have valid from this is a very important 
and this doesn't look correct just a second this was supposed to have picked the the currency here as usd just a second let me check that again then price list is this one okay yeah it picked usd i don't know what was happening so i was saying that this field is very important uh, valid from because this is what validates your price list if you want to make a price list for example that will expire after some time you can add this up to here or you want to make a price list for the future so you want to set it up maybe you are traveling and you want the price list to kick in when you are away for example today is to the second of january i can decide that i want this thing to be effective on friday from friday 24th all the way to sunday 26th maybe a weekend offer or something you can do that there uh, I'm going to leave those as 3R, then I'm going to enter 790 there. This is the rate that you're going to be using to buy. Save it. And that is it. Now, when we go to something like a purchase order, when we go to purchase order, we can ignore that one. We create our new purchase order, select the supplier. Remember that doesn't matter. And we say we need to deliver this item in a week's time. Now, the moment I select this item, you notice that this fetches 2,000, uh, 2,064,000. 2, 2,064,000, yeah? But you see up here we have currency and price list. If I open it, you notice that the default price list has been picked. So I can change this to our USD one. And now you notice that the, the rate here has changed. The rate has changed to 2,388. 960 because it has converted the uh, with the currency exchange that we have added so this is how you handle uh, uh, item prices and also price lists within ERP next and also I mentioned how you normally how the system behaves when you check that checkbox little checkbox that says it's not dependent on the uh, unit of measure so thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel Consider doing that now so that you are notified for the next three weeks we are going to be handling stocks and also going forward. And also I would encourage you to go and follow me on LinkedIn because anything that doesn't come to YouTube must go to LinkedIn. Thank you so much and I hope to see you tomorrow for our next topic.